Hello everyone, welcome to Rising Leo. Today we will create this simple lower third animation. Let's start our tutorial. Open Metron, go to image options and select the ramp mode. Now select the ramp colors. Here I am going with blue gradient. Now set the position. Open Natron. Go to image options and select a ramp node. Now select the ramp colors. Here I am going with blue gradient. Now set the position of the gradient points. You can place according to your convenience. Now go to image options and create a roto node. Connect the roto node to the ramp node. Draw a small rectangle and refresh the view. The roto node automatically masks the ramp background. Now create a transform by clicking shortcut button T. Connect the transform node between the ramp and view. Now let's animate the shape. Make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Go to scale options in transform node. Create a keyframe at frame 1. Set the scale value to 0. Move the cursor to few frames forward and set the scale size to 1. Let's see the preview. Now create a merge node. Attach a wire to transform node and output to viewer. Now create another roto node and draw a rectangle like this. Copy the gradient and create a duplicate of it. By holding control on your keyboard place the gradient copy between merge and roto node. Now create another transform node and place it between the merge and the ramp. Adjust the position of the transform center to left end. Now go to transform node of the second rectangle and animate it. Go to scale options and remove uniform scaling. Set X value of the scale to 0 at frame 20. Move few frames forward and set X value of the scale to 1 at frame 35. This looks okay to me. Now create another roto node and ramp node and attach to merge node.
draw a rectangle in the third roto node. Now adjust the gradient colors and position. Create a transform node and animate similarly as previous node. To make it look more good let's set the skew to 0.5 in all nodes. Check the preview. Now go to Curve Editor and easy ease the curves. Now check the preview. If you feel not okay with the timing, you can adjust the timing in Dope Sheet. Select the keyframes and adjust the timing by moving keyframes. Now check the preview. This looks good to me. Now create another merge node. Attach the first merge node output to second merge node.
Attach second merge output to viewer. Now create a text node and attach it to second merge node. Edit the text and text properties. Create another text node and do the same. Add the transform node to both the text. The reason to use a transform node for text is, last time when I tried scaling property it gave me a wiggling output. Animate the scale property by adjusting the timing. Now check the preview. This is cool. In the next tutorial I will explain you how to render this video in alpha channel or transparent background. Follow me on Facebook and its links given in description. If you like the video give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share.
Give your opinions in comment section.